Hey guys, so it is 6 a.m. I don't know. We, we, my alarm went off at 5.30 a.m. I think it's 6 now. And we are waiting for our... Electric Uber. Yes, to take us to the airport. There's my bags over there packed. Ready to go. Jason's are in there packed. Ready to go. So... We're going to head to the airport in Porto, and then we will be off to London. Hey guys, we are on the Southern Service train from Gatwick to um, London Victoria Station. Uh, we should be there in another 20 minutes or so. Uh, the flight was good. I slept through the entire thing because we got up so early. And um, it's, a train. it's pretty packed. But we managed to snack some seats. Um, so yeah, we just made our way to the uh, ticket office. We bought our tickets for the train. Now we're on it. Um, once we get to Victoria Station, we're going to switch to the tube, take that to Oxford Circus, I believe. And then from there, we walk eight minutes to our flat. So, be back in a second. All right, guys, so you come through this door from the main level. So that door right there leads outside to the uh, sidewalk on Cleveland Street. You come down these stairs through this door, and we're the first door right here on the left-hand side. There's another door here, eh, day. And then I guess that leads outside, it appears. You come in. Here's your bathroom. You got a sink. You've got a shower, slash tub, you've got floor towel there, you've got toilet, all right, towel warmer, window there to the back, and then you come back out to your hallway here, you have a little storage up there, we won't be needing that, and then to the left here we have the bedroom. This appears to be holding the door open. <laughs> um, I think this is a full or queen size bed. Lots of storage here. Let's open it up. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, where, where are the towels? Okay, I only see, oh, one. Oh, there's one towel, but they do have extra sheets. So that's appreciated. There's only one towel. Concerned. All right, so the rest of these appear to be empty. Pillows. More pillows. I appreciate that. All right, but only one towel so far. Let's move Jason's stuff out the way. Vacuum chilling in the corner. Uh, more space to hang your stuff. Okay, let's see investigating real quick. Okay, all these appear to be empty. I'm not going to open that last one. Um, so yeah, here's the, here's the space. Um, a little tiny blow mattress, I guess, for a child. Um, we've got internet, we've got iron, we've got, oh, I'm trying to open this and I'm actually pulling it out from the wall. Come on. Okay, we've got a Blow dryer, we've got, I don't know what that is, it seems like nothing. This is some old furniture, come on, there's no sliders here. It appears to be empty. Still no towels. Uh, radiator heat. Our view is of the street, so streets up there. Um, something I find quite interesting is the uh, clothesline, the clothes hanger pull for your <laughs> for your shades. Come on, man. You can't just give them a nice string. <laughs> whatever works, whatever works. All right. So we got plugs there. Oh, here are our towels. Lord, it blended in with the linen, so I didn't see it. All right. So we've got three, four towels for four days stay. All right. <clears throat> and let's come on in here. Got some hangers there for coats and such. And then we're going to come through here. You've got your dining area. Um, you've got a faux fireplace. 
TV, couch, and kitchen. There we go. So we've got a stove oven. That appears to be a microwave, washer dryer. Uh, no, that's that's a microwave. So what's that? Is this a dishwasher? Maybe? What are you? Oh yes, it's a little tiny dishwasher. Very cute. So yeah, here we go. Toaster. Let's see what kind of amenities we've got up here. Uh, coffee, tea. Um, nothing in there. Cups. Dishes, bowls. And your water heater. So yeah, that's it. It's small but well appointed. We're not going to be spending, you know, much time doing anything in here other than laundry and sleeping. So out back, you have, I guess, storage. Looks like storage for these units. Um, so yeah, and I guess for your bikes. And we back up to other other apartments there. So yeah, it's cute. It's cute. Um, and it's in a really good location. It was about a 10 minute walk from Oxford Circus to get here. So it was a little rough with my luggage, um, but whatever, we made it. So I'm gonna take a shower, get comfortable, change my clothes, and then we're gonna go get something to eat. Thank you, Jason. For my sparkling water. Hey, that's the kind of fizz that I'm accustomed to. Popping out the glass. So we stopped into Ipudo, Japanese restaurant on Good Street. And we're gonna have some lunch. This is um, like a two minute walk, maybe a couple of blocks from the Airbnb. And they have a set menu here. And here are their options. There's also a sushi place next door if you're interested in that. It is a little warm in here. There's no air con on at the moment. So let's hope the food's good. Alright guys, after a very short wait, here's my ramen. I got the Shiranaru Classic. Um, your utensils are right here. So grab some hashi. And here we are. Um, Jason's not eating because he wants sushi, which they don't serve. So we're gonna, I'm gonna snarf this down really quick and then we're gonna you know, go grab it. We have hot soup here and it's yeah. hot outside, yeah. so no thank you. So we're gonna, I'm gonna snarf this down really quick and then we're gonna go grab something for Jason. All right guys, this was very good. I killed it. And here's the damage for the Shiramaru Classic. $13.50, sparkling water is free. All right guys, so final decision is boba. <laughs> you can never fail here. So, this is across the street from the place where we just had. Um, mm. So, we just ordered. It's a small little place. That's your shot at the back. So, we're just standing off to the side here, waiting for our.
Ollie. Here. 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 More towards the near side, they utilise right in some of the horse out of the centre. Right towards the south side is Domino in black and white, fully wet now making that run towards the middle of the track. And make the way through halfway, then it's a lady good, I beat the lover leading three. Good view of Hansen, with the long sports, and the sun is still on this. I three volley, Christy Carl, and Kyle Gay Hall in the blue and white colours of the old star, down towards the final quarter mile. It is meditated, come through to lead. Rolling colours is back on the way, there it is, the last. Nicole from Honest Try TV, and we are back home. Yay! We made it safely. So I'm going to do a quick recap um, of our of the last leg of our adventure in London, and then we're going to close it out. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. Thank you so much for joining us for this trip to Portugal and England, and. Um, during the last leg, we flew from Porto to London. We took the, uh, I think it was the Gatwick Express, to our crappy Airbnb with no air conditioning, and they lied. Um, be very conscientious of that, guys. When you're booking an Airbnb in Europe, and if aircon is a thing, if it's summer, just, just be very conscientious because you'll even select air conditioning on the Airbnb website. Like you'll tick the box for that um, feature and it'll still show you units that don't have air conditioning. So you have to like actually go in, look at the list of amenities and make sure that air conditioning is not crossed through or is like definitively listed as an amenity or the unit does not have it, and we got stuck in a heat wave, and it sucked. We were melting. We tried canceling our reservation. The guy wouldn't The guy wouldn't even respond, like, let alone cancel. Like, he wouldn't respond. Airbnb sucks. They're always on the side of, of the homeowner. Um, so they were useless. They were like, oh, let's get in touch with him. We, we're still trying to get in touch with him. Oh, we're still trying to, 10 hours later, we're, st we're still trying to get in touch with the owner. Uh, we don't want to do anything. We don't want to cancel the reservation until we talk to him. We're going to give him another two hours, 12 hours later. Oh, we're still trying to get in touch with the owner. <sighs> See? See? <laughs> so, um, I could have paid less and been at the double tree down the street. And not and not dealt with any of these problems and had air conditioning, so yeah, that that sucked. So just learn from learn learn a lesson from our drama. Aside from that, we saw the Back to the Future musical. That was pretty good. Um, we did some shopping. We went to Royal Ascot. That was that was that was interesting. <laughs> that was an interesting experience. Okay, if I had to do it again, I would book a box early in advance and the bus there's a bus that travels from downtown London to Royal Ascot and will drop you off at the door that's what you want to get and you need to book very far in advance if you want to get on it because when I tried to book which was still three months in advance um both of those the box seats and the uh the bus the non-stop door-to-door -door bus service were completely booked out so we ended up taking the train. Train has no air conditioning, number one. Number two, it was packed, standing room only. Number three, it's summer. It was hot. So it was a struggle and in heels. But your girl took flip-flops, so I wasn't, I wasn't playing that game. I made it about two hours and then I, I gave up the ghost after the uh, royal procession. Um, I got to see Prince William and Princess Kate and who else? I think that was that. Um, 
from the like immediate royal family. Obviously, the queen wasn't out there. It was too doggone hot. <laughs> Don't blame her. Um, after the royal procession, you can kind of like dress down. So that's when I switched to my flip flops and you can take off your top hat if you have one or whatever. Um, but that was an awesome experience. I would definitely do it again, but I would make sure that I plan better next time. Um, so yeah, other than that, we just kind of hung out with friends and scooted around the city. Jason and I have both been to London. Like Jason lived there and worked there. I studied at Oxford for a bit. So we know the place. It wasn't like we went sightseeing. Thus, there wasn't much to show you, but those experiences were pretty cool and we enjoyed them. And yeah, that was it. We uh, made our way back to the airport and flew separately home because our flights were canceled. Thanks, United. Um, so our flights got canceled. They rebooked us on our crappy flight that had me sitting, I don't even know, I think it was Toronto for like 12 hours or something stupid. And I called them and I was like, yeah, this sucks. Um, here's a better itinerary. Put me on this one. We didn't cancel your flight. I'm looking at the app. It says canceled. <laughs> like, what, what, you want me to send you a screenshot of your own website? What is wrong with you? I'm not doing this. Cancel, like, change my itinerary now. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you people? So, anywho, anywho, after all of that, um, there, because the flights were oversold, overbooked anyway, Jason and I weren't even able to fly together, so whatever. So I ended up getting home like three hours before him, which was fine. I stole all the sugar from the baby, and there was none left by the time he got here. I kissed all the toes and all the cheeks. There was nothing for him. So yeah, we had a great, wonderful trip. Again, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it, and we will see you on another episode of Honest Try TV. Um, if you like these travel videos, please leave comments, recommendations down below. I have a birthday coming up and I would love to go somewhere. I don't know where. Um, I'm still thinking about it. And I, we don't want to spend too much money. The flights are stupid. Like the airlines are canceling everything left and right. So we'll see. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.